I've always been involved with Manx dancing and Manx singing and so on um, from a young age. Um, we always used to sing our songs, not really knowing what we were singing about, just making the right, hopefully, noises as we went along. Um, so then I started learning Manx about 10 years ago, um, just before I had my first child, because I thought, well, I, it would be something that is part of my children's heritage, so I'd like to know more about it as well. Um, and it was quite nice to realise, it kind of clicked all into place, the noises that, that I was making when I sang <laughs> actually meant something as well. Um, so that was nice, that's what probably brought me into it to start with. Um, and then uh, when my children were born, we sent, well, as they grew older, they went to the Munchbegger playgroups as well, and so they picked up some Manx there themselves too. Um, and so it was all kind of gradual really, and they eventually went to the Bun Skull, and so that kind of cemented my learning as they started learning more Manx. Um, mine carried on as well, really. Um, and now Poz and Cloy kind of came about from that as well. So as um, Ned, who's my eldest, he's eight now, was becoming ready for school, we used to meet up and just talk a little Manx, just as a mums and tots, really, just to keep the kids entertained. When first we met in the Buns Girl, and then as the group got bigger and bigger, we needed more space, so came into the hall next door. And then all the children have been through it now as well. And now uh, Cece's here too. 